good morning to all you guys out there in YouTube land. My name is John and today I'm going to do a review on this camera. It's called a Viran V11 and this is a pretty good camera. It's a brand new one. I've never really took it out and do anything but just looking at the specs it's going to be good and I know that Viran does good image stabilization. So let's check it out. And this is the outer box and it said that it has six axis anti-shake, high definition dual screen, body waterproof to five meters, Wi-Fi connection and up to 170 wide angle degrees of shooting. Oh, and the other thing is this has a high capacity battery, 1200 milliamp hours. You know, a 2.2 inch screen monitor, that's good. 5K recording at 30 frames per second. A touch screen and a six layer glass lens. Why, what more could you want? And inside the box is this lovely case here with a zip on it. I've just unzipped it. Let's see what we get. I want to take the camera out first. We'll look at the accessories then the camera. And what do we have here? Well, we'll start off with a cleaning cloth this is called a J seat that's a bracket that's an adapter bracket 1 adapter bracket 2 adapter bracket 3 and this is a fixed seat this is a strap this is a bicycle bracket this is a data cable that connects from your camera to your computer you can put data from the camera to the computer of your pictures and videos or you can use it as a charging cable too Right, and this is uh, basically a helmet mount. We've got two double side stickies here, another mount there, and this is the remote control that comes with the camera. It has a photo button, which is the red one, and then you've got a video button, which is the grey one, and then these lights will flash when it's recording. Also, has a little there. Uh, place in the back to put your battery it probably has a battery already in just needs probably a piece of insulation pulling out to energize the battery and it's ready to go you just thread this strap through it and you can wear it like a watch and here is the camera itself as you can see you've got a front screen on it you have two dots there which I think is a microphone and it's a good mic too and here we have the speaker of course when you get this camera make sure to peel off there's a little lens cover on each one it's very thin plastic and you can hardly see it and i just noticed it today when i was unpacking this thing but i think it'd be a good idea to take it off if you want better even better video than you actually have this is a 5k camera so it counts on the size it says v11 or v11 that is the on off button of course and on the back here we have a large monitor on this side we have a waterproof enclosure for which lets you get into your SD card and also your USB port right there and this is kind of a type of rubber so you just press that back on like that and you set and this looks like it's a lanyard attachment there on the top we have the shutter button to take photographs or video you've got your quad 20 hole in there so you can mount it to a holder or even a tripod and that, i think that's really important today because these cameras are becoming so versatile and to turn this camera on you just press this button in here for a few seconds two well I'd say two seconds and it comes on straight away let's see as you can see this lets you know that we are in video mode this is the amount of footage that's been taken on the video. This is the microphone that you know the mic's working. This is the amount of battery that you've got left. Just down here is your settings and this is a touch screen which is great. Down there it lets you know you're recording in 4K 30 frames per second. If you want to go into settings just press the settings button. Let's see low, you know, there we go. We've got video resolution. Oh, normal that's looped only a video resolution there at 4k 30 and also make sure that your image stabilizations on see that there you press that it is off I'm going to press that there and now it's on 
and then just to get out of it you press that return arrow there these I don't know if you can see that those two little icons with a plus and negative that's for zooming in and zooming out this will shoot video but if you press it and hold it see what happens what's happened there is it's turned the monitor from being viewed from the back of the camera to the front of the camera so when you want to be doing selfies and you want the image on the front I recommend that you just press that button down for about was it three seconds one two three yep three seconds so that's good and also the on off button here if you press that down real quick that will take you into camera mode see that so then you can shoot just photographs just by pressing this button here there you go press it again and put you into this mode what I'm talking about is this power button so you go playback video setup photo setup now if you want to connect this camera Wi-Fi to your phone or tablet you just press the settings button there so you go where the, the cog wheel is that's what we're looking for there you go Wi-Fi now when you press that if you want Wi-Fi on it says Wi-Fi is on so now what you do is you take the QR reader on your phone and you read this QR code and that will download the app onto your phone and then to connect the app to this camera you need to go to settings and then connect to Wi-Fi through your Wi-Fi settings and it will be like what will it be Sport DV something like that and then when you've connected that you can then open your app and that will connect you to the phone so now I'm quite jaded up to go and take this out and see what kind of video it takes so let's take it outside now ah what a beautiful day to work on one's tan I'm just loving this time of year it's like not too hot nice and warm it's tropical I feel like I'm in a place that I would come for a vacation I'm already here great thank you just over here we've got a, a tree called a peanut butter tree I call it that because if you take a leaf and squeeze it and smell it it smells exactly like peanut butter it might be a honeysuckle I'm not dead sure this bush here this is called Nicky Nick uh, I think it's an Indian name and the berries are edible and the bees love them love to love the flowers of this plant I'm about well let's say about one foot away from the camera I'm just checking on the not only the image but the audio so I'm I'll turn the audio around turn the camera around now and as the audio should change because the microphone on this camera is at the front so I'm assuming it's going to take better audio at the front but we'll find out and then in here we've got this this is called lemon cucumber never seen them before in my life interesting though okay we're still in 5k and with image stabilization on apparently and this is my latest uh, creation here just
Das ist Wahnsinn, Wahnsinn. How did that happen? All right, man. Thanks a lot. that was fun <laughs> did a good job man was very pleasant